first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends before watching all my railway exam videos so do not forget to do these three things so the first will be the whatsapp channel so after posting every videos on the same topic we will give you an omer question on the form of pdf so we will upload the pdf on my whatsapp channel so do not forget to join our whatsapp channel so second after posting every topic videos on the same topic we will give you two tests so one will be easy level and the second test will be moderate level so do not forget to purchase the test and after posting every video do not forget to write the both the test on my channel and the third importantly those who are preparing for the railway exam the first video that i have posted tips to crack and strategy to crack the railway exam so do not forget to watch that so after doing all the three things watch my railway exam videos so friends now in this video number three for the railway exam preparation so now we will be solving a question that is based on a hemisphere right so already we have learned some of the concepts and some of the formulas in the previous video that is based on a spear right so do not forget to watch the first video so first video is the measurement formulas so what are all the topics that are important on measurement then i have given a test as well so after uh, the first video i have solved in the previous video we solve some of the questions starting from spear right so when you take a spear we have only limited number of formula one is a volume of a spear and second is the total surface area of a spear only two formulas and we solved many questions that is based on a ratio based question and then we have solved melting concept question so all those kind of question that is based on a spear we solved in the previous video and then i have given a test series also two tests which contains 15 15 question i hope you have taken the test right so now entering into the third video which is called as an m spear right so spear half will be m spear everyone knows it when you cut the spear exactly off not only in this direction you can cut either like this or like this exactly off which act as a m spear because all the radius of a spear will be same wherever you draw a line so we can say that wherever you cut into a two of which becomes an m spear right so when you take an m spear you don't want to learn any formulas newly here why because if you already learned a formula for spear learning a formula for m spear will be very easy why because we know what is the volume of spear formula 4 by 3 pi r cube right so 4 by 3 pi r cube will be the volume of a spear so when you cut the spear into an half which becomes the m spear so similarly cut the volume of a spear by 2 right divided by 2 so we can cancel 2 and 2 here so this becomes 2 by 3 pi r cube so 2 by 3 pi r cube will be the volume of m spear so we don't want to sit and buy this formula because we have learned already the spear so similarly so 4 by 3 pi r cube is for spear when you divide this by 2 2 by 3 pi r cube will be the volume of m spear so what about the total surface area of a spear which will be 4 pi r square similarly this will be the total surface area but when you cut into 2 right cut into 2 half so divided by 2 resultant will be 2 pi r square so only a small change here is 2 pi r square only a small change here will be when you cut a solid spear into an half right you will have a bottom surface right so here you will have a bottom surface area which act as a circle here because when you cut a ball into an half and when you see the bottom of this hemisphere you will have a circle so circle area of a circle will be pi r square so this will be 3 pi r square so 3 pi r square will be total surface area of hemisphere so this will be the surface area outer surface area and this will be the bottom circle pi r square area so when you add these two resultant will be the total surface area of a hemisphere which will be 3 pi r square that's it we have only two formulas and there is an another concept in the hemisphere which is called as an hollow hemisphere. So I hope hollow hemisphere will be like most of our uh, spoons, kitchen, kitchen items, right? So kitchen vessels, spatulas, wooden spatulas, mostly it will be in a form of an hollow hemisphere, right? So I will not, I'm not going to teach hollow hemisphere here. Why? Because while we are learning a cylinder, at the time of learning cylinder, we have cylinder as well as hollow cylinder most important concept in a cylinder will be hollow cylinder so while learning that hollow cylinder at that time i will teach you an hollow hemisphere so that while comparing both 
and learning will be easy. You don't want to learn any new formulas here. So that's the reason I'm not going to teach all over MSPR here. I will be going to teach only MSPR. So while teaching all over cylinder, at that point, I will teach both all over cylinder as well as all over MSPR. So at that time, you don't want to learn any new formula by just learning only one formula that will be enough to solve all over MSPR as well as all over cylinder, right? So that's it. We don't, they, they don't, they didn't have uh, these kind of questions, M sphere and sphere. We don't have that much of huge formulas, only two important formula. One is a volume and second will, will be the total surface area, right? So let me move on to the question that is based on a M sphere. So after solving it, do not forget to write the test, right? I will be solving few questions that is based on a M sphere. So kindly without watching the second video, right? Previous video, do not watch this video because you, you can't able to understand anything. How I am solving it. So first try to learn the second video that is based on sphere, melting concept, ratio concept, everything. And then come and watch this video. First question. A metallic hemisphere is melted and recast in the shape of a cone. So with the base same radius of base radius will be same. And the height, H is the height of the cone then. So just, just read the question, right? What they are saying. There is a metallic hemisphere. So that metallic hemisphere is melted in to form a small cone, right? With a same base radius. So that means the hemisphere radius as well as the cone radius both are same. So by using this data our target is to find what is the height of the cone. So they are mentioning the height as capital H. That's it. So but here the data what they have given us both the radius are same. And another importantly, right, if the question, not even here in all the measurement topic, if you see a question that is based on a melting, so you have to remember one thing, volume of hemisphere will be equal to volume of cone, right, whatever uh, dimensions, right, whatever shape that we are melting, so that resultant will be volume. By using that volume, our target is to make a cone. So this volume and this volume will always be equal, right. So volume of hemisphere, just now we have learned a formula, so 2 by 3 pi r cube. And similarly, volume of a cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h. So after writing both the formulas and our target is to find what is the height of the cone. So just cancel 3 and 3 here. We can cancel pi and pi. As well as we can cancel r and r. Why? Because both the dimension where both the shape uh, radius are same. So we can cancel 2 times of r here 1 times of r. So resultant will be h is equals to 2r. They are mentioning this h as a capital H. So is equals to 2r and similarly they are mentioning the radius as capital R. So we can say that so height of the cone will be 2 times of radius. So 2 times of radius resultant will be height of the cone. So which will be the answer for the first question. Right. Very interesting. So always you have to remember this point alone if the concept is based on melting. So always equate both the volumes. Second question. So if a hemisphere of a radius 21 centimeter is melted and recast into a cone with the height of 42 centimeter, then the radius of the cone is. So similarly, they have given two, two values. One is the hemisphere radius has been given, right? So they have given a hemisphere radius. So and this is in the concept of melting, right? So they are melting a hemisphere and they are making a cone. So this cone with the height of how much 42 centimeter. So and our target is to find what is the radius of the cone. So here they have given a radius as 21 centimeter and both the values are in centimeter. So if one value is in centimeter and another value is in meter. So first you have to make sure to change both the values in same either centimeter centimeter or meter meter unit should be same always before substituting a value in a formula right. So now it's based on a melting concept. So again volume of hemisphere is equals to volume of a cone. Right. So first volume of hemisphere, just now we have learned the formula 2 by 3 pi r cube is equals to volume of a cone. So volume of a cone 1 by 3 pi r square h. So here we can cancel pi and pi. So similarly we can cancel 3 and 3 but do not cancel r and r. Why? Because this radius and this radius will be different. Because this radius is 21 centimeter and here our target is to find the cone radius. Cone radius is not given. As well as they didn't say that both the radius are same. So you can't just like that cancel here. So first substitute the hemisphere radius. So hemisphere radius will be 21 cube. So 21 into 21 into 21 is equals to r square. So this is the value we need to find. So height of the cone is 42. So now we can cancel 121 two times. So cancel 2 and 2 here. 
So R square is equal to 21 square. So R will be 21. So which means the cone radius will be 21 centimeter. So which will be the answer for the second question. Right? So friends understood. So whenever it, it's the question based on a melting, try to equate it. And some question where students don't know how to st start the first step of the question. Most of the students, right? Because some question there will be a small twist in the question and you don't know how to proceed the question to solve it by using a formula so in that case right if you can't able to know what is the first step to solve a question so first see what is the question they are asking whether they are asking us to find the area or the volume first write the formula first and then after writing the formula try to substitute all the values what they have given in a question and some values will be missing in the formula so first target find that value right what values that are missing in the formula try to find that initially so after finding all the values in a formula then substitute in the formula and you will get the answer right so if you keep on solving many questions in the measurement topic then i don't want to teach all the concepts automatically you can able to solve it right so that comes only in practice so this will be the answer for question number two next question so the total surface area of a metallic hemisphere is 1848 centimeter square so the hemisphere is melted and, and made a small right circular cone right if the radius of the hemisphere is same as the radius of the cone then the itis so similar concept question but remember one thing just now i have told you if some values are missing how to find that so here they have given the hemisphere radius as r and similarly this radius will be equal to the cone that we are making right so both the radius are same so by using this data our target is to find what is the height of the cone so this is also based on a melting concept right so volume of hemisphere is equals to volume of cone right so first volume of hemisphere so volume of hemisphere 2 by 3 pi r cube and is equals to volume of a cone 1 by 3 pi r square h so whenever you don't know how to solve a question first write the formula right for, we know the concept right if it is melting we have to equate it write the formula try to cancel it and try to figure out the final answer at some point you may get an idea how to find that answer so you can use it once you learn the formula solving most of the question here is easy so you can cancel 3 and 3 we can cancel pi and pi as well as we can cancel r and r why because both the radius are same right so we can cancel this and this so height will be equal to two times of radius right so finally we found the height of the cone is equals to two times of radius but here both the radius is unknown we don't know what is the radius of hemisphere but initially in the question they have given a clue that 1848 right yes 1848 is what 1848 will be the surface area of the metallic hemisphere so this hemisphere total surface area will be 1848 so we know what is the total surface area of hemisphere 3 pi r square yes so 3 pi r square will be the total surface area and that total surface area of a hemisphere is 1848 so by using this value try to find out what is the radius so after finding the radius apply here we will get the height of the cone that's easy right so 3 into 22 by 7 into r square is equal to 1848 so try to cancel the values here so we can cancel 6 3s are 18 1 3s are 3 again 6 and then we can cancel this on 2 table 11 times so cancel this on 2 table 3 2s are 6 0 8 2s are 16 so cancel it on 11 times 11 twos are 22 8 so r square is equals to 28 into 7 so r square is equal to 196 so r is equal to square root of 196 so r is equals to 14 so finally we got the radius radius which is 14 centimeters so now we after getting a radius substitute here so h is equals to 28 centimeter that's it because our target is to find the height so after finding this point we don't know what about the radius so by in order to find the radius they have given a small clue this total surface area of hemisphere has been given so by using that value initially we found what is the radius which is 14 centimeter so after finding the radius substitute here in this answer so resultant will be 28 centimeter will be the height of the cone so friends understood or not right so whenever you don't know how to solve a question or how to first write the values what they have given in the question so first write the formula right always write the formula 
check whether it's a melting concept or it is an uh, right inside an image inside a uh, hemisphere if there is a cone so write all the formulas here and then substitute the value in case if you don't find any view you can't able to uh, know how to substitute the value for radius or height so just check the question there will be some clues in the question by using that figure out the value and then substitute in the formula you will surely get the answer so this is the way you have to solve a question in the measurement topic right so answer for this question number three or four it right, which will be 28 centimeter so next question a solid metallic hemisphere of diameter 28 centimeter is melted and recast into a number of solid cones each with a diameter of 14 and height of 8 cm find the number of cones so formed so this this usually many students ask this question right repeat they have a doubt on this area because many students have seen repeatedly asking this doubt that most of the questions that we solved in the previous video or in this video that is based on an hemisphere has been melted and made into a cone right but only one single cone but here in the question, an hemisphere with the diameter of 25, so which means the radius will be 14 centimeter. So the radius of 14 centimeter of hemisphere, right? And by using this hemisphere volume, our target is to find a cone. But how many cones are formed with the height? So what cone height has been given 8 centimeter and the cone radius has been given 7 because diameter is 14 and the radius will be 7. So how many cones are formed in this shape? Just, just listen here, by using this data, right? by using this data, our target is to find we have to melt this hemisphere and we have to make a cone. But how many cones can be made? by using this given centimeter right 8 centimeter height and 7 centimeter uh, radius dimension how many cones are formed or else by using the m sphere we have to make small small spheres how many spheres can be made so these kind of question you can able to see more on the many competitive exams right just only small change here into n that's it no other change right all the steps what we fo followed in the previous question will be same here also but only thing is at last you have to multiply by n so this determines the number of cones that are made with this dimension so friends understood or not some books you may see into n some books they will write this into x or into question mark everything will be same so we have to melt this and we have to make a cone with the dimension but how many cones are made so into one in all the previous question that is only one cone are made so into one but here our target is to make by using this dimension how many cones are made so with the same dimension into n determine Determines that number of cones that are made in this dimension that's it so every formulas every procedures everything will be same right so first volume of m sphere so 2 by 3 pi r cube so r cube will be 14 into 14 into 14 so is equals to cone volume 1 by 3 pi r square h so r will be 7 into 7 height will be 8 into n number of cones that's it so cancel 3 and 3 here most of the question we will cancel pi and pi so even if you can't able to cancel pi and phi somewhere take it as 22 by 7 don't take it as 3.14 right so we can cancel 1 7s are 7 7 2s are 14 1 7s are 7 7 2s are 14 so 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 cancel 8 here so here we have only 14 remaining so n is equals to 14 so that means 14 cones can be made Right, with this dimension if we melt this hemisphere with a radius of 14 centimeter so when you melt this 14 centimeter hemisphere so we can make 14 cones with the given dimension so this will be the answer for the question so friends understood in the previous lesson and this lesson they have given like one uh, one shape has been melted to make an another shape but here one shape has been melted is equal to number of shape with the same dimension that is a cone with the radius of 7 with the height how many cones are made so we what we do is we we just write the volume of cone 1 into n so into n represents the number of cones that can be made in some books they will write this as x or else in some books into question mark so everything will be same not confused by seeing the values or letters but the concept is into n the number of cones right so this will be the answer for the fourth question so last question in this video a toy is made is in the form of hemisphere so surmounted by a right cone with a circular base coincides with the plane surface of the hemisphere. So what they are saying is there is a cone, right? So they have given a cone which is surmounted by an hemisphere. So now at the top, they have a hemisphere shape. It's a toy 
and uh, it looks like a cone ice cream something like that so here it's a hemisphere shape and at the bottom we have a cone right so and what they are saying is the base surface will be same does this surface right so surface will be exactly fits on the cone so that from that point we can able to know one thing where the cone radius as well as hemisphere radius both will be same and the radius is also given which is 3.5 so 3.5 will be the radius of the cone if the radius of the cone is 3.5 then the hemisphere radius will also be 3.5 why because they have they have said that uh, base coincidence with the plane surface so this will the cone uh, what to say the cone base and the hemisphere base coincide with the same surface that means it exactly fits so we can say that both the radius will be same so by using this data our target is to find what is the height of the cone and they have given an another important clue here just see the radius of base of the cone is 3.5 meter and its volume is two-third of the hemisphere so that means so volume of hemisphere two-third right so two-third of volume of hemisphere is equals to volume of cone so friends understood or not what they are saying so the volume of hemisphere two-third resultant will be volume of cone so now by using this clue our target is to find what is the height of the cone so that is easy because we know the formula right what is the formula for volume of cone 1 by 3 pi r square h is equals to 2 by 3 into volume of hemisphere again 2 by 3 pi r cube so write all the formulas so we can cancel pi and pi here and we know the radius is same so we can cancel r square 1 times of r so we can cancel 3 and 3 here so resultant h is equals to 4 by 3 r right so h is equals to 4 by 3 and we know the radius so radius what they have given is 3.5 so is equals to 12 14 so 14 divided by 3 so resultant will be 4 3s are 12 6 3s are 18 2 6 3s are 18 it goes on so we can say that answer for the question will be 4.66 meter i think all the yes, all the values in are meter so we can say that the cone height will be 4.66 meter approximately so based upon the option we can mark the answer right so sometimes in some of the question you can able to see these questions more these kind of questions more on uh, cbsc 10th standard books when you take our school books right 8th standard 9th standard 10th standard books on measurement topic you can able to see more number of question like this and question like this there will be msphere and the msphere here too and then uh, they will give you a frustum of cone right so the cone usually they will cut at the top right so usually the cone looks like this but they they cut the top part so which looks as a frustum of cone and then a bucket shape uh, question you can able to see more kind of uh, thing on the school books right bucket shape uh, images and then uh, there is a, a cylinder and both the sides they have fixed an hemisphere so these kind of questions you can able to see more on the cbsc 8 9 standard books so these kind of question is also you can able to see on the books because in most of the railway exams they cover that 8th 9th 10th mathematics based question so only practice more like this when you don't know right first thing write the formula and definitely there will be some clue in the question so by using the clue try to identify what is the radius or what is the height so once you find that solving a question will be very very easy so friends after watching this video do not forget to write the test so test is always important practice with the timing is always important so i have given 10 question 20 minutes so each question you have to solve within two minutes so practice like this only practice makes you perfect on clearing the exams or else just by only learning and uh, solving a question by just referring a books won't help you to clear the exam why because railway exam is based on the timing so 90 minutes you have to solve four sections so timing is most important time management will be important so after posting every video i am giving you a test so do not forget to take the test so if you really like this video share it to your friends those who are preparing for railway exams on the next next uh, videos we will be solving question that is based on a cylinder cone cube cuboid etc so do not forget to watch all my measurement videos so friends thank you so much for watching it bye